All right, hey, how's it going, guys? And welcome back to another episode of a Fallout 4 mod reviews. Today, we're going to be checking out the Fallout 3 styled vaults by Scotty X2. This mod is going to retexture all of the in game vault items. Not only the vaults themselves that are in the base game, but the vault settlement items from the Vault Tech DLC as well. Now, this may not seem like a big deal, but when you see the before and after photos here, you'll notice that it is quite a substantial difference. So as we step out of our vault simulated environment here, you'll notice that all of the new vault items are actually retextured, including things like the stairs and the doors, which I much prefer these textures. They look very metallic, and even though a vault should be pretty pristine, it's metal, you know, it's gonna rust. It's been 200 years. And you can see that every type of floor and wall has been hit with these retextures, besides maybe the overseer walls, because they were kind of perfect as it is. But they're just a little bit grittier, darker, and more like the Fallout 3 aesthetic. And I really do prefer this. This is probably one that's going to stay in my game, even despite the file size. And that's honestly really it. There isn't a whole lot to talk about with this one because it is just a retexture. And I wanted to give you a, an example of what all of these textures will look like in your game. But yeah, I just wanted to showcase it. I thought it was really neat. And, you know, we've been getting a lot of Fallout 3 in Fallout 4 kind of stuff lately. And this is another way to add to that. So if you're the kind of person who likes to build the Vault Tech DLC, this is definitely a mod for you. And with that, we're going to bring the video to a close, and that means it is time for our AMA questions for today. So remember guys, at the end of every video, we will do an AMA question from the previous video. So if there's something that you'd like to ask me, either about Fallout modding or just something to get to know me, feel free to ask it and I will check it out and answer in the next video. This gives you a chance to be featured in a video as well as a chance for you to get to know me. And if you want to answer the questions in the comments below, I can get to know you a little bit as well. So the first question we have today comes from Indecisive Wolf, who asks, what are your honest thoughts on Fallout 76? And, uh, I don't have a lot to say about Fallout 76. I played it at launch like everybody else with these high expectations for a multiplayer Fallout, and I was kind of disappointed, as was most of the community at launch. But what I've heard is that the game has gotten a lot better since, and I have yet to check it out. I haven't had the time to, or the drive to, but... Maybe someday we'll we'll check out Fallout 76, but at launch it was definitely a mess, but that seems to be the case with most games nowadays where the launch content isn't up to snuff and they end up fixing it about a year later after everybody's already left, <laughs> except for a small group. But yeah, um, it was cool what I did play of it. There were just, it, MMOs aren't my thing. So that's kind of where I'm at with Fallout 76. And the next question for today, comes from user Kowloon Kid, who asks, out of all the NPCs in Fallout 4, who would you want as a companion, including the DLCs? Honestly, I think the variety of creature and a robot companions are a little lacking in Fallout. I mean, we have Automatron to make up for it, but in the base game, you just have two robot companions. One of them ends up turning into a human or a synth, technically. And uh, both of those were iBots. You know, there's not even a Protectron that you could take with you. And in terms of animals, you only have dog meat. Now we have a mod that adds a second dog meat, but that's it. It'd be really cool if you could tame other dogs, and not just for your settlements, but to actually travel with. As well as other creatures that are, you know, possibly persuaded. Especially with the Wasteland Workshop pack where you can tame creatures and keep them at your settlements, you should be able to maybe convert them into companions. Luckily, there is a mod that does exactly that with Beastmaster, but I wish it was in the base game. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you would like a chance to be featured in a video or you have something you want to ask me, Drop a comment in the comment section below and I will get to it tomorrow. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you're new here and you want to see more, consider subscribing. We are doing Fallout 4 content pretty much daily at this point. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.